So we ran into a problem. The washing machine broke the other day, and what happened is the little pump that discharges the water after the cycle uh, failed. The little shaft inside the motor snapped, and it can no longer pump the water out. I've gone online, I found a replacement pump with expedited shipping and all that. It's still going to be a week away, and I'm out of laundry. So normal people would just take their laundry over to the neighbors and just be done with it. But no, 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 no. We're going to find a way to make the washing machine work with the parts that we have laying around the shop. So here's what I've come up with. I have a shop vac, uh, a typical uh, shop vac, um, one cat, doesn't necessarily apply to the shop, uh, the, the uh, washing machine repair, a box of Christmas lights, a small relay, some outlets in a very safe manner with plugs in them, a variety of wires, and over here in the back is the discharge pipe from the washing machine. Oh, we forgot. We have a roll of duct tape. That's part of this job. We duct taped the vacuum cleaner onto the discharge hose of the washing machine. Underneath the washing machine, we removed all of the guts from the motor and just basically sealed it off so that it would be watertight. So here's what's going to happen. The washing machine will power up, fill, go through its cycle, and when it's time to discharge the water, we'll apply 120 volts to this set of wires over here. This set of wires normally would run the motor. And I've also discovered that the circuitry monitors to see how much current the motor is drawing, I guess to ensure that it's there. With the motor absent, it throws another fault code. I think it was fault code number seven. So we had to come off of this terminal to energize this small relay, which was not enough load to trick the electronics into thinking that the motor was in fact there. So we paralleled on a box of Christmas lights. And by screwing in the appropriate number of bulbs to achieve the current draw necessary, to match what the motor used to draw, we can confuse the electronics into thinking the motor was working. The relay, as you probably have figured out, connects power to an outlet, which powers up the shop vac. The shop vac needs to run through a relay because its current draw is substantially greater than what the electronics of the washing machine could handle. So, here it goes. <laughs> 